So let's sort of put all of our analysis t uh, pr uh, sort of techniques together here. So the question is, is it worth buying a Hyundai Sonata hybrid instead of the regular Hyundai Sonata? Okay, so t this is really utilizing some mathematical approaches to, to help with decision making. Uh, and notice we really need to figure out the information we need to answer this question. So the very first thing we need to decide is what is our comparison going to be based on? Uh, we could base it on, you know, environmental responsibility. We could base it on maintenance costs. Uh, but let's just make things simple here and let's look at just fuel and purchase costs. There's a lot of other things that we could compare, uh, and so let's just base it on that. Um, and so, in addition, let, let's sort of look at the cost to run the the cars uh, for. Uh, so let's think about how we're going to measure fuel costs. So first thing we need to know is is sort of uh, how many miles per gallon, right? We're going to need to know miles per gallon. Uh, of each car, you know how many, how how good a mass gas mileage do they get? Um, we're also going to need to know how many miles d are we expecting to drive. Uh, we need to know the price per gallon in order to take that into account, and of course we're going to need to know the purchase costs as well. Um, okay, so let's uh, make some assumptions here. Uh, so first off, the uh, I looked it up, and the Sonata, the basic Sonata, gets 25 miles per gallon in the city and 35 miles per gallon on the highway. Uh, the hybrid gets 35 miles per gallon in the city and 40 miles per gallon on the highway. And uh, let, let's just assume that gas costs about uh, 350 a gallon. Uh, of course, it varies from day to day. Uh, and then for driving, uh, a standard driver drives about 12,000 miles in a year. Uh, so let's go ahead and use that as our base. And let's assume, again, we're making lots of assumptions here. Let's assume that about 75% of it's in the city and about 25% uh, is on the highway. So 9,000 miles city and 3,000 miles on the highway. Uh, so let's start figuring out what's going to happen. So, so for the Sonata, for the basic Sonata, let's look at gas for um, let's look at gas for one year. So let's suppose that we're going to drive 9,000 city miles, city miles, uh, and we get one one gallon will take us. Uh, 24 miles in the city. So notice that this is converting from miles into gallons. Uh, and then let's add on to that our 3,000 uh, highway miles. And our car uses one gallon for uh, 35 miles on the highway. And so if we go ahead and multiply that out, 9,000 divided by 24 plus 3,000 over 35, that comes out to be 460.7 gallons of gas in a year for the basic Sonata. Uh, so now let's try the hybrid. Uh, so the hybrid, again, 9,000 miles. Uh, it gets 35. Uh, one gallon will take it 35 miles. And then we got 3,000 miles on the highway, where one gallon will take it 40 miles. Uh, and if we take that, let's say 9,000 divided by 35 plus 3,000 divided by 40, comes out to about 332.1 gallons of gas. Uh, so now, bringing in our our cost per gallon. Right, so we now we got 350 per gallon in both cases. 350 per gallon uh, gives us a sort of running cost of 1612.45 for the basic Sonata and 1162.35 for the 
for the hybrid sonata. And, and so if we look at the difference there, the hybrid is going to save, so the hybrid saves, uh, let's see here, the difference there is four hundred and fifty dollars and ten cents per year in gas costs. Uh, which we, if we figured out the percentage uh, difference, that's about 28% lower than the gas costs for the Sonata. Um, now really, while these, while both this and the percentage difference are, are interesting, uh, neither really answers our question of is it worth it? Uh, because there's probably going to be some trade-off for that gas savings, right? Uh, and in fact, that, that, that is the case. So it turns out that the, make some room here, that the basic sonata, I want to keep these numbers here, so in case we need them. So the basic sonata, uh, the basic sonata has a, has a base model cost of 20895 while the hybrid has a base model cost of $25,850, uh, which you'll notice the difference is uh, $4,965 uh, difference. So is it worth it to buy the hybrid? Well, let's see here. It saves $450 a year in gas, but it's going to cost you about five thousand dollars more up front uh, and and so this really becomes a a useful information for making the decision uh, so for example, we could say that four thousand nine hundred and sixty five dollars uh well, I'm saving four hundred and fifty dollars and ten cents per year that's uh, about eleven years to make up. Uh, the extra upfront cost. So, so, so one could argue that if you're going to own the car for less than 11 years, uh, on just a basic math level, it is probably going to be cheaper overall to own the, the regular Sonata. Whereas, if you're going to keep the car for a long time, eventually you'll make up that higher initial cost. Um, but of course, there's tons of other considerations that we're ignoring here. Things like uh, maintenance costs and and possibly resale costs. If you end up keeping the car for only three years, it could be that the resale cost, uh, resale value of the hybrid, is is much higher than the resale value of the Sonata. In which case, you'll make up a lot of the difference uh, in resale. And, and so, math here can help you make your decision or guide you towards making your decision making your decision but of course the math can't make the decision for you because there's always more to consider than sort of these basic calculations that we're calculating here